So let me show you around for all of you that are new to the channel. Um, the duck coop, the setup is we have three pipe feeders. They hold about 30 pounds of food, so we don't have to change it. Um, but probably once every couple weeks, so once every three weeks, they have a pond for the ducks and they have a drain out right here and you can see i didn't finish hooking it up yet but i'm going to run all of this into um rain capture barrels well not rain just barrels i guess and uh and then run it into the greenhouse and then uh for the water since most animals need water uh, for them we have an infinite water bowl and a hose in their coop for easy maintenance and cleaning and oh my god it helps so much and as you can see their coop is very clean a bunch of ducks and then this is the chickens now i'm not gonna open that just yet because you can see how they're all lined up right there they're waiting for snacks and i'll go get them and i can open them i'll show them to you this is a composting bin specifically for the chicken poop i don't put any other composting things in here because i like to keep things separated so i know what i'm putting into the plants <sighs> that right there is a rain capture off of that roof right there which i painted with elastomeric and that elastomeric uh, basically keeps the tar and the stuff from going into the rain capture to, so the chickens have uh, clean water. We're in Texas. I'm in Southeast Texas. And these I'm getting ready right now. Uh, I'm going to plant grapes as it gets colder. These were redone for a fall crop. And here we have cucumbers. And you can see the cucumber there, or the cucumbers there growing. Uh, we have peas, which are these that are being held up right now. Uh, we have a mini orchard, which has citrus trees. Um, so there is, and they're all started like, you know, seedlings, and now they're all growing up. Some of them didn't make it, like that one right there is an avocado, uh, but the rest of them are doing very good. Blood orange and orange and mandarin and lim Meyer lemon. This guy I saved, this guy almost died because of the cold, and I switched the soil and, and took care of the watering and everything, and he's back to, to health. And then we have um, uh, limes, and then we have what's called a dragon, dragon orange mandarin or something like that. Um, that's another citrus uh, plant. Uh, here we have uh, basil, and these are tomatoes that are growing. And then that's more basil over there. And then we have our big greenhouse, which just hasn't gotten started yet. That is going to start when the weather cools down. And yeah, I try to be. That's the point. Uh, the point was to create something fully sustainable, but I'm doing it in stages. And uh, you know, you can't do everything at once. So once one, one thing at a time. Um, so the greenhouse, uh, I tried to grow stuff over the summer, um, but the problem is it was too hot, and basically all that that grew was algae. So we didn't we didn't grow anything in the hydroponics. But that's a pretty mighty stand. If you look, you know, like, just imagine how many lettuce heads or how many spinach heads can grow on just one thing. So, yeah, uh, you see right there, because I'm trying to make it fully off-grid, you see that power bank right there? That is a power bank for from a solar panel that's hanging on the outside. And these fans, these lights, all of the lights in the homestead, like, all of these lights here that are hanging, there's probably hundreds of them, if not a thousand or more, they're all solar. And the only thing that's uh, not solar in here is um, their heaters. And mealworms are 